first thing is you're gonna need to grab two and a half cups of flour, one third cup of water, one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, and two eggs. Pour out the flour and make a little volcano. Add the salt, olive oil, and your two eggs. Start stirring carefully. Try your best not to break your flour wall. Add a little water and flour as you stir until all your water is incorporated. Once you have a nice dough ball that springs back when you touch it, you're ready to let your dough rest for at least 20 minutes. If your dough seems wet and isn't holding its form, add some more flour. If your dough seems too dry, we'll add some more water. Now that your dough has had some time to rest, flour your countertop and your rolling pin. Cut off a small chunk of dough and start rolling it out. Add more flour if your dough is sticking to your countertop or your rolling pin. Once you have your sheet of dough to your desired thickness, flour it up some more and then fold it over to make for some easier noodle cutting. They aren't perfect, but they are homemade. Things will look a little more uniform if you have a pasta machine. Again, flour everything up. Start with your largest setting on your pasta machine and lower it each time you pass your dough through. Once your dough is at your desired thickness, you're ready to pass it through the pasta cutting roller. Make sure you flour it up first. Hang your pasta to dry or cook it right away. I recommend letting it dry since that's probably what you're used to, but if you cook it right away, it will only take a couple of minutes. 